Okay, the book begins. The book begins, and it says simply, I can find it. It says, the computer revolution is over. They won. And then it goes on That's to say, right. okay, it goes mm -hmm. on to say, yeah, you've normally thought of computers as being big and indifferent and inaccessible and all that, but something happier is happening now, and that's personal computers, where computer power is getting decentralized, and, and that's what this book is about, and that's what you want to find out about, and that's what we're going to tell you about. And um, I, I don't know, I think that's fine, but I, at least one person feels that it's going to be, you know. It starts off on the right foot, I and mean, that's what the whole book is going we to We want be. to pull the rug out from underneath. Well, oh, it's a little you know, twist. Right, right from the beginning, I want to say, whatever you think this book is, it's not. Open your mind up again and look at it one more okay. time. Well, Pick we're going to have book. to sit down and, and get all so of it. So I the, like that approach. Okay. Well, everybody else is saying the computer revolution is, is coming, and that's exactly. a nice twist. The computer exactly. revolution is over. Yeah, well, that's the point. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> in year one of the product life cycle, I mean, personal computers as a household word just happened in the last six months, really. And so people are really starting from ground zero in terms of education, and that's why we did the book, was to... Uh, we found that one of the problems in our ads was that we, we really, there's no way in, a, in a two, even a two-page uh, new uh, magazine ad or a 30-second uh, TV spot that you can even begin to tell people uh, what you can do with the machine, what the power of the machine is, how it works, and those kinds of things. So we felt that really what we can do with our advertising is to, to get people interested and give them a vague notion of what they can do and then use our dealers and, and uh, other uh, brochures and books to give them more details. So we decided that we would use our ads and uh, some mail programs to get um, a more uh, this how to buy type book into the hands of consumers and it really will walk them through the whole process. It will help them feel comfortable with uh, the benefits that, that it will come from a computer uh, and how to shop for one. One well, question yeah. I got, wait a minute. On all these spreads as we're going through, is somebody going to be reminded this is that they're actually still looking at an Apple book? Or is it, are they not going to really know? Well, are there going to be color bars up here or anything that carries through? In a well, the color bars, okay, if it this, does carry through. Yeah, if this chapter five, you know, have the, the purple, because that's the, the, the fifth in the, the sequence of Apple colors. So that'll be throughout. Okay. So it'll have a. Because you know, I think it's really important to, to maintain, to keep, once you put your hand on a guy's shoulder, to keep it there. You know, what you, you know what I mean? I think we're going to do this yeah. in the way that... Not obtrusively, but... Yeah, that, that we've always wanted to do it. I think yeah. the style of the book will right. cry out Apple real strongly, but I don't think we want to tell them, <coughs> you know, you should buy an Apple, you should get an yeah. Apple, Apple this, right. Apple that. Yeah, Inside, we've got to respect their intelligence and... and um, They'll all still have that Apple feel because absolutely. We're, we're talking four colors throughout. We're not, you know, like scrimping on, on color or anything and then the way of producing it, so it, it's going to have a nice... To it. What's yeah. the background? Is it a gray background or is it a white background? No, this one is a white background. I, th I think that obviously uh, we're not in the business of publishing books to, to just broaden uh, people's horizons. I mean, we want to sell Apple, but we feel like that this book leads is written in a way that, that because Apple is, is writing the book and has provided this book, it's sort of um, uh, Apple is, is putting on its hat as educator that uh, people will, you know, it will impart, we have preempted the fact that we are the leaders in making computers accessible and we feel it will make people feel good about Apple. We also, while it is pretty, you know, it is objective about uh, computers, it doesn't really get into comparisons. It just tells people how to, the questions to ask. And they could conceivably, from reading our book, they may buy another brand, but they will know a lot more about how to shop and we feel that that will serve us, you know, long term. Everyone is opening up this market, and the whole the whole point is that everyone wants to get into computers, but they're totally lost. You know, so if we approach, but these people are all as Apple. I think as we recognize, these people are smart, and they're capable, and you don't have to you don't have to nurse them along. You can treat them like real people and be um, straightforward with them. Well, the whole premise of this book is Apple is educator. I mean, we invented the personal computer, and now we're going to well, help it become more accessible to to people, and by just helping people with this whole process. And I think, yeah, I think we I would, done the job. I think we we would modify that just a little bit, and did in our original marketing viewpoint too, um, to make it Apple as peer almost. Mm -hmm. I think some of the failings of some of the other books out there is that they do try to educate you. You know, yeah. They're talking they're, yeah, they're hardware guys who are trying to make you into a hardware person, right. or there are people who uh, um, see you as a as as 
a simpleton, you know, and want to. Right. Or they go the other. Or they, or they go yeah. the other extreme. Yeah. yeah. Which and they think you know what they're talking about. They start giving you lots of menus and lists and. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, right. Well, what haven't we covered? Yeah. What are some of the, do you have the draft? Some of the questions? Yeah, what are some yeah. of the questions yeah. we got? Because yeah. you, you didn't really go over that with me. Yeah. Why don't you just those? Yeah. Uh, okay, this is the glossary, which we're going to have to shoot way down because there's now, this you know, is a shop 200 terms. It's like shop, it's designed for the guy that wants to shop, right? You're not going to get into engineering terms and all that. Malarkey. Well, we've got, we, you're right, it is malarkey, but we've got a few in there to the degree that when you go into a store, you're going to hear them and you're going to need to know That's what they are. That's all I want in here is what the guy's going to hear from the computer sales. Yeah, and it's also one, one way, one thing we've done to it is, is put enough stuff in there so that they can use it more than once. You okay. know, it's got more than the definition That's of important. bug in it. Because you know, we want so them to got a way keep to this book. We don't want them to read it one night and put it away forever because it's so elementary that they never need to look at it again. Yeah. Oh, okay. I might want to go through that because I think yeah, if you put too many words in there, it's going to be make it seem that much more intimidating. I just want the bare bones that the guy needs to yeah. really ask some good questions yeah. and I understand know. it. You know? I, I kind of disagree with you there because I think that um, maybe by the time you've gotten to the back of the book, presumably if they get to the back of the book, they want to know more. Well, if they're really sending in for this book, they want to know more. And, and we really want them to have Glossary that. says, here's a lot for you to know, but because it's a glossary, you can just pick and choose. You don't have okay. to swallow the whole thing in one lump. Did Rob have a chance to look at those? <coughs> no, it's coming to uh, JD was was fine on them. He had no problems. They're all pretty well sluiced out. What kind of questions? Questions? Did you come up with? Okay. Did you go around here and ask some of the folks uh, what they would ask? No. What I did was I asked myself, being pretty, uh, um, pretty, you know, I computers. I don't love for the sake of hardware. I love. You know, for what they can do for you, like all of our customers, presumably. So I just sort of candled my own head and came up with a few of these kinds of questions. The first is the most obvious, which is computers are so new to me that I don't even know where to begin. Where do I? And what's the answer to that? The answer is start with your own interests and ask if a computer can help you with them. It's that simple. If you don't think you'll benefit from buying a computer now, wait. You know, so that's the kind of tone we want to take through all the questions in the book so that. You know, to just be honest about it. I think that's one way that that you can get people to trust what you're saying about computers. But that's pretty evident, I guess. Uh, okay. So. Well, I'm feeling pretty good about this, guys. Uh, so when do we? Uh, when can I when start mailing? Start? <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, when uh, can you start mailing, Russ? Uh, week from Tuesday. <coughs> week from, no,